Direction heading 7.9, Alpha Charlie 12. My skills are so being wasted out here. I should only be going on important missions. Come on, Princess. Every mission is important. <laughs> Do we even know what we're looking for? I think we just found it! They came from nowhere! What the heck? Mayday! This is Hornet 3! We've lost control of the... <laughs> Attention, Marshals. An ultrabet by the name of Twinkie is missing. Anyone with information is requested to contact us immediately. I can't believe what you've done. Oh, this is the most impressive vehicle I've ever laid eyes on. Thank you, sir. I, I installed the latest Warp 6 Turbo Booster, state-of-the-art Mercury Volt body armor, and Altanium G4 stabilization bars. Oh. oh, and I've also modified it so it has that new Hornet smell permanently. I can't wait to give this beauty a spin! <laughs> oh no, not now! Quick, help me cover it! If my son ever found out how souped up my hornet is... Oh no, Sarge is gonna blow a gasket when he sees all this mud! Josh! So good to see you! Uh, it is? How's your day going, pal? <laughs> Wait a sec, you're not mad that I tracked in all this mud? <laughs> of course not. You know, I was young once too. You were? <laughs> oh, Josh, you're such a joker. You know, we need to spend some quality father-son time together. Maybe we can go dirt biking sometime. Yeah, did you bump your head on a satellite or something? Great! Let's plan something soon. Whew. That was a close one. Kirkpatrick here. I see. I'll be in my office in a few moments. Well, at least things can't get any weirder today. <coughs> Left foot on Mars, right hand on the Milky Way. I stand corrected. Hey, Josh. We're playing a totally space-tastic game of interplanetary body buster. Want to join us? Yes. You can take my place. As much fun as that looks, I value my spine too much. Pass. Oh, it's no problemo when you're done with the yoga. Okay, Brett, your turn. Game over, Marshals. Mission time. We've lost contact with Bobby's team while they were investigating a series of disappearances. Time is of the essence. All right, time to untangle, team. We gotta go save Bobby's butt. Man, is he gonna hate that? Guys, a little help over here? You wouldn't believe how freaky my dad was acting earlier. Get this, he said he wanted to go dirt biking with me. Ew! I was just visualizing the principal in leather pants, and it wasn't a pretty picture. Hold on a sec. What's that? <gasps> oh, man! This is the greatest hornet I've ever seen! This must have been what my dad was hiding from me. Come on, Josh, you can geek out on it later. We've got a mission. Exactly. We have to take this hornet on the mission. Are you crazy? Your dad hid this from you for a reason. He didn't want you to touch it. Think of the trouble we'd get into. Ugh, you guys need to learn a simple lesson. It's easier to ask for forgiveness than permission. Now let's go. Uh, there's no reasoning with him when he gets like this. Ooh, this is really nice inside. Check out this jam and drink machine. One soy wheatgrass latte, please. This supercomputer has over 10 times the operating speed of an ordinary computer. Dad, too busy to go dirt biking now. Hello, Josh. I see you found my expensive, one-of-a-kind hornet. Are you aware that the seat covers alone cost a fortune? Your hornet? Oh, gee, I, I guess I accidentally got into it and didn't notice. 
Now that you mention it, this is a pretty sweet ride. Do me a favor. Bring my Hornet back to the hangar right away. Ooh, sorry, Dad, but we gotta find Bobby's team right away. But don't worry, we'll take good care of your Hornet. Too late to turn back now. But... <laughs> By calculating the frequency, radius, and strength of Bobby's signal, I've been able to pinpoint where his team was last heard from. Awesome work. Where is it? Right here. Josh? What? Oh, sorry. Josh, lay off the throttle. You're completely undoing five years' worth of intensive yoga. <laughs> Millennium Award goes to, oh, what a surprise, Josh! It looks like pieces from Bobby's Hornet. I hope they're okay. Well, there's no sign of them anywhere, so they must have made it to safety. All right, now let's take a closer look at the debris. <laughs> Where they ran into trouble. I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh, what's that smell? Ugh, smells like the time Josh ate that weak old solar hot chili in the calf. Hey, don't blame me. Maybe it was fluffy. <laughs> hey, do you think this liquid has something to do with the smell? Unfortunately, yes. Ew. It seems that this liquid is sulfurium. A noxious and outdated form of spacecraft fuel. So then it didn't come from Bobby's Hornet. Well, it smells like a clue to me. Let's follow that stink. The sulfurium is thicker here. We must be getting close. It couldn't be coming from that thing, could it? Hmm. It looks like a big old nasty piece of trash. How does that junker even stay afloat? I'll activate the cloaker so we can move in for a closer look. Whoa! Check out the dramatic duds on those dudes! Must be members of an intergalactic theater troupe! More like space pirates! There has to be an artificial atmosphere shield around the ship so they can breathe without helmets. And it looks like the space pirates are forcing those people to do their dirty work for them. Hey, there's Princess Kimball! Whoa! And she's doing manual labor? Don't you know I'm a princess? As in no manual labor? As in I'm not supposed to sweat like this? Oh! I do apologize, Your Majesty. Perhaps this will help cool you off. Oh, Kirkpatrick is gonna freak. That slime is gonna ruin the paint job. We've got other things to worry about right now. Intruders, all hands on deck! <laughs> to us! Oh, great! We're gonna get into even more trouble for losing our equipment! Silence! It's time for you interlopers to meet the scourge of the galaxies! The fiercest, nastiest pirate in deep space! Blackbeards! Arg! Oh, no! You ain't be saying it right! Repeat after me! Arr! 
Arr. No, no, with more feeling. Arr. Arr. Oh, what a motley band of misfits I saddled with on my ship. I think this pirate is one shrimp short of an appetizer. I must thank ye, mangy curs, for bringing me your ship. It's going to fit in perfectly here. And so are you. <laughs> Jolly Rogers be spick and span. Wait a miss at the rescue mission, not to mention destroying the principal's new ship. Well, genius, if you didn't get caught in the first place, we wouldn't be scraping space squid off these plates. I be sensing some hostility between me two dishwashers. There be only one way to solve this problem. Huh? Now see what you made them do? Just try not to make any direct contact with me, all right? Hey, keep it down, princess. I'm using my earcom to listen to Blackbeards. The starship Argo is fast becoming the most indestructible vessel ever built. No one can stop us. We're going to pillage every planet in the galaxy, starting with Earth. Oh, yeah! Yeah! No, you need to say Arr. Try again. Arr. Arr. Much better. Let's straighten up those eye patches. Captain, a space barge approaches. Let's see how rough and tough this ship be. Prepare for ramen. Arr! Everybody in position. Bobby, quick, brace yourself. Huh, yeah, right. Since when do I take orders from someone like... Yeah! Ah! 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 We've got to stop Blackbeards. For once, I agree with you. Psst, do you want to join my mutiny? Forget about his lame mutiny. Join mine. It's way better. It's real. Who knows more about rebelling than me? Arr! Mutiny tonight at 11 o'clock. Now, which one of you miscreants be the leader of this accursed insurrection? Uh. <laughs> wow, he's taking this way better than I thought. There's only one way to teach you scoundrels a lesson. It's time for you to walk the plank. If there's one thing Blackbeards can't stand, it's a mutiny. <laughs> Planks have come a long way since I was a kid. <laughs> bon voyage. <laughs> um, so they're gonna be okay floating out there alone without food or water and limited oxygen, right, Brett? <laughs> I'd be more concerned about saving them from each other. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, since you're the one who got us into this mess, I know a great way you can make it up to me. Oh, really? I can't wait to hear this. Why don't you give me your oxygen tank, too? That way at least one of us has a chance to survive out here! Help anyone! Or, try this. Instead of being a whiny baby, you help me figure out a way to get back to that ship and stop Blackbeards. Oh, brilliant plan! I always keep a spare spacecraft in my wallet for situations like this. Any other bright ideas? Actually, yes! One new ship coming up! You're dimmer than a dwarf star if you think you're gonna build a new ship. I'm not going to. We're going to.
pirates. Hey, I'm not your sidekick, pal. I'm gonna be the one giving the orders. Okay, fine. What's our next move, Captain? We take the fight to those pirates. Good plan. Full steam ahead! my visit to the pirate ship. No! No! those nasty beards. Great work in stopping Blackbeards. A difficult mission, but you pulled through. Congratulations. <clears throat> yes, Josh? I think I'm ready for some of that father-son dirt biking time we discussed earlier. Well, that's a great idea, Josh. How about we start by rebuilding my Hornet? Uh, I... I guess it was a bit of a rough mission. Well, it won't be that bad if we all work together, right? 
Oh, wow. Look at the time. Gotta run. Ciao. Hmm. Thanks, Dad. I knew you'd help. <laughs> I never said I'd help. I just said we could spend some time together. Why don't you start by organizing the Hornets' pieces? But there's gotta be thousands of them here. <sighs> this father-son time is really rewarding. We should do this more often. <laughs>